Hey guys, so submarines, especially nuclear ones, have become the embodiment of technological progress. It is on ships carrying the most deadly weapons that the most cutting-edge developments first appear. Now, in contrast, conventional diesel-electric submarines have proven to be fairly effective in completing certain tasks and have a number of advantages over their nuclear counterparts, especially in coastal and shallow waters. Some of these advantages include lower noise levels, high maneuverability at low speeds, and comparable strike capabilities. Additionally, the relatively lower cost of their construction and operation has made non-nuclear submarines a practical choice for some naval forces. However, they also have a number of disadvantages, primarily related to the limited time they can be submerged due to the finite energy stored in their battery banks. To charge the battery, the submarine is forced to surface or use the diesel engine operating mode underwater, which increases the likelihood of its detection by radar, infrared, optical, electronic, and acoustic surveillance equipment. There are several directions for extending the underwater range, with the primary focus on scientific, technical, and technological developments aimed at enhancing the traditional power plant of non-nuclear submarines and its components. The solution to this situation lies in the use of an auxiliary air-independent power plant on the submarine. It is noteworthy that there is a technological breakthrough in the fields of technology where Stirling engines are beginning to be employed. For example, the application of Stirling engines on Swedish non-nuclear submarines significantly improved their stealth and brought about a real revolution in submarine design. They have now come very close to nuclear-powered submarines in terms of stealth and even surpassed them in some aspects. For instance, during two exercises in the Atlantic in 2003, the Swedish submarine Gotland with Stirling engines Kokums V4-275R outperformed a Spanish submarine with a conventional diesel-electric system and then a French nuclear submarine. It also took the lead in a battle with an American nuclear submarine Houston in the Mediterranean Sea. It should be noted that the low-noise and highly efficient Gotland is approximately 4.5 times cheaper than its nuclear counterparts. In 2005 to 2007, the Gotland submarine was leased to the United States for use in exercises as a simulated enemy submarine. Swedish sailors vividly demonstrated to their American colleagues how challenging it is to defend against modern non-nuclear submarines with very low noise levels. During the exercises, Gotland successfully launched an attack on an entire carrier group and quote-unquote sank the nuclear aircraft carrier Ronald Reagan of the Nimitz class. The submarine can remain submerged for up to 30 days instead of the typical few days, which makes it much more difficult to detect. In addition to using a hybrid diesel-electric power system, the vessel has several structural features designed to reduce its own noise level and increase the stealth of the submarine. All of the ship's mechanisms are soundproofed and placed on special rubber shock absorbers to reduce vibrations and noise levels. The shape of the hull and special coatings are aimed at reducing the submarine's own hydrodynamic noise, infrared emissions, and acoustic reflection area. Combined with the virtually noiseless operation of the Stirling generator and the low rotation of the screw to prevent cavitation, these submarines are very challenging to detect underwater especially in their primary operating area, the Baltic Sea. The hull design and the shape of the rudders, resembling the letter X, provide good maneuverability for the submarine. The rudders, in combination with two stem rudders, ensure high maneuverability at low speeds in close proximity to the seabed. The Gotland was the first in the world to be equipped with an automated combat control system connected to the Internet. This allows for complete control over all operating modes and simultaneous monitoring of 95 targets. Such a high degree of automation allowed reducing the crew to 28 people. As Sweden prepares to join NATO, it is reaching an important milestone in strengthening its military capabilities. The country has laid the keel of its first submarine in more than 20 years, named HMS Blakich, says the press release from the manufacturer Saab Kakums, with a length of 66 meters 
and a displacement of 1,925 tons. It will be powered by three 500 kilowatt diesel engines and three 65 watt Stirling engines. The maximum speed of the submarine will reach 26 knots. Using the Stirling engines, the speed will be reduced to 5 to 7 knots, allowing for continuous underwater operation for up to 30 days. The bow compartment of the Project A26 submarine houses four 533mm torpedo launchers with torpedo or mine payloads. It also allows the use of a 6-meter-long universal armament compartment. This space can accommodate Tomahawk missiles or any other systems at the customer's request. Saab Kakums has been in negotiations with Poland since 2017, and they're ready to develop a specialized modification with specific capabilities for Poland. Now, let's turn to the true giants, the largest and most powerful nuclear submarines. See for yourself, these self-propelled skyscrapers in composite armor, ready to destroy humanity, reach the very depths, do not enter port for years, and are ready to surprise with their very existence. The underwater skyscraper catamaran of Project 941, Akula. Six of the world's largest submarines, known in the media as Typhoon, were built by Rubin Central Design Bureau for Marine Engineering from 1981 to 1989, but only one remains in service. The nine-story submarine turned out to be too expensive. The most heavily armored submarine of the 1980s, and also one of the quietest, despite its length, of 173 meters and a height of 23 meters, equivalent to a nine-story building, 25 to 30 meters. Externally, Akula looks like a single vessel, but it is actually a catamaran. Two robust titanium hulls provide structural reliability and accommodate 20 ballistic missile launch tubes, carrying a total of 200 nuclear warheads. Reactors and torpedo launch systems are also duplicated in isolated compartments. Now, despite its size, the Akula has a record buoyancy, 40%, enabling it to easily break through Arctic ice up to 2.5 meters thick. This submarine also excels in terms of crew comfort. Sailors aboard the last remaining operational TK-208, Dmitry Donskoy, stay at sea for up to six months without a break, referring to it as the Floating Hilton. This was one of the grandest Soviet military projects in all respects, still astounding with its scale. Its second name, Typhoon, was given to it by the General Secretary of the CPSU Central Committee, Brezhnev. This is how he introduced it to delegates of the Party Congress and the rest of the world in 1981. Heavily Armed Ohio-Class Submarines The most heavily armed submarine in the world carries 24 Trident II ballistic missile launchers. Even Akula has fewer because it has carriers similar to land-based systems, while Ohio carries compact ones for submarines. Some submarines of this class have been equipped with a load of 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles instead, which is enough for a local war. Basically, the warheads of one Ohio submarine would be enough to wipe out a small country. Amazingly, this massive machine produces only 102 decibels of sound, which is slightly louder than thunderclaps. This is negligible and barely detectable at the submarine's maximum depth of 550 meters. Developed concurrently with the Akula, the Ohio class proved to be more advanced, cost-effective, and versatile. It appears to be the only ballistic missile submarine capable of launching missiles, torpedoes, remotely operated vehicles, and combat swimmers. The Silent Colossus of Project 955 Borei The most modern Russian submarine, armed with 16 Bulava missiles, may not seem extremely interesting at first glance. However, these submarines replaced the Project 941 submarines and inherited their best qualities at a much lower cost. Instead of multi-bladed propellers typical for nuclear-powered submarines, the Borei class received water jet propulsion, which reduced their noise levels to an exceptionally low level, an estimated five times quieter than the quietest Shuka B submarines. Water jets are aided by a hull divided into separate compartments, interconnected by shock-absorbing mounts. Rubber coatings are also used on the submarine surface. In combination with special low-magnetic materials, 
This approach made submarines of the Boryai type the stealth of the underwater world, virtually undetectable by most observers. The National Interest magazine included the Project 955 submarines in the top five deadliest and most powerful submarines in the world. The Los Angeles-class Underwater Dolphins Multi-purpose Los Angeles submarines are familiar to anyone who follows the news or is interested in global events. They have been the heroes of most local conflicts in the Middle East, launching Tomahawk cruise missiles at Iraq, Libya, and Syria. The U.S. Navy has received a record number of these submarines, 62 units, while this figure has remained unattainable for other projects. In fact, the Los Angeles became the founder of a new class of multi-purpose nuclear submarines in the modern sense of the term. They are used in anti-submarine and anti-surface ship warfare, reconnaissance, special operations, troop deployment, precise strikes against ground targets, mine laying, search and rescue operations, and more. They can reach speeds of up to 64 kilometers underwater, a record among large series submarines. Also, their reactors are refueled only once every 42 years, making the Los Angeles submarines nearly eternal by submarine standards. Carrier Killer Project 949A Antley Project 949 marked the peak and the end of the development of specialized submarines created in Russia for the purpose of destroying the largest surface ships, aircraft carriers. These ships are protected not only by a multitude of support vessels, but also by a large number of onboard aircraft. Engineers successfully addressed this complex task. The 3.5-meter gap between the light and strong holes of the Antli provides a significant reserve of buoyancy, up to 30%, and offers protection against underwater explosions. While a random torpedo won't incapacitate the submarine, submarines of this type carry 72 anti-ship supersonic missiles, either P-800 Onyx or 24 P-700 Granite. Hypersonic missiles Zircon were designed for them, becoming the terror of the oceans. It is believed that there's no defense against this missile. Seawolf This is a series of fourth-generation multi-purpose nuclear submarines of the U.S. Navy. The Seawolf submarine represents an example of American revolutionary ship design and technology. This submarine is the most complex piece of machinery on Earth. Thousands of workers built this ship over 10 years. American submarines trained for years to become part of the crew. However, to get the title of the Mistress of the Seas, this submarine underwent the most advanced developments and a series of rigorous sea trials. Seawolf was developed in response to the appearance of a new generation of submarines in the Soviet fleet, Project 971 Shuka B, and was intended to replace the submarines of the Los Angeles type. The primary goal set for the designers was to significantly reduce the noise level of the submarine. This was achieved through the use of a new generation soundproof coating and the replacement of the propeller with a water jet thruster developed in the UK for submarines of the Trafalgar type. The submarines are equipped with modern detection means. The maximum underwater speed is 64 km per hour, while silent speed reaches 37 km per hour, and the maximum diving depth is 600 meters. Well, that's all for today, friends. Like the video if you found it interesting. Leave me a comment. Let me know, would you be willing to live in a submarine for six months? We'll see you next time.